coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. Jackie's mad at me. She needs to be mad at Teresa for no, bringing it up. No, because Teresa wasn't fight. calling around. How do you know Teresa wasn't calling? Teresa told her to call and dick. I was like, if you know her, ask her. See if this rumor, if she's heard the rumor, because she lives in the same town. She uses Jennifer as her puppet. It's not a level of intimacy of a friendship that I'm used to. I thought that you were going to be like, blow this off. I got a whole fucking life over here going on. It's going to be a little bit more than a hub. I didn't want to see her like that. I like the bitch of Jennifer, you know? Yeah, me too. Margaret is a very smart person. I'm not sure she gets it past that easily. She was referencing details that if she didn't know what the affair was about, she wouldn't have known that information, which is why I owned up to it at the time. Teresa, you gotta guide me. She's your friend, so you guide her. I don't wanna guide her. I was not in a good mood that day. She sucked the fun out of the place. It's misplaced hostility. How do I look like You look like all last year. Oh, really? Oh my God. Know, why? Her husband, the plumber, should unclog her because she's so full of So I gave her a calendar full of I actually love the duty calendar. That was adorable. <laughs> Your Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. Margaret, Jennifer drops a bomb during your lunch. Jackie's mad at me about a rumor that I didn't even start. She needs to be mad at Teresa for no, bringing it up. No, because Teresa wasn't fight. calling around. How do you know Teresa wasn't calling? Well, when she said that, I immediately said to her, I said, so what are you saying? You, Teresa told you to call Serena. Teresa told you to call. And she didn't answer me. And, and then I knew the answer. Teresa told her to call and did. I was shocked she told me, I'm but not. I think she was sick of being on the frying pan. I want to know, in that conversation, did Teresa say, I wish I had proof? And did Jennifer say, let me find out. Let me ask around for you. I know more people around here than you do. Like, that's the thing. Je Jennifer did not go digging because Jennifer knew the girl. She lives in the town that they live in, so. She's my friend. I even said to her, I was like, if you know her, ask her. See if this rumor, if she's heard the rumor because she lives in the same town. And if she says no, then you know that it's not true. From a woman who's now so scared of anyone even asking a question about her boyfriend, Teresa should be careful. When you apologized to me last year at the reunion, you apologized to my husband and said I never would do anything to hurt you. Evan, I apologize to you. I would never want to do anything to hurt you or hurt your family. Like, I mean, I have like, no intent for that whatsoever. How sorry were you actually if this was still going on? They made up before last year's reunion and then come to find out right before the reunion they're calling all over town, her and Jennifer, to try and make it true. So I think that's what was so upsetting. Like, everything she feels like Teresa says is disingenuous. She uses Jennifer as her puppet. Like, she knows Jennifer's going to do whatever she says to do. And that's why I can't trust Teresa and I can't trust Jennifer. Teresa obviously made you call. And she should have came to your defense and said, you girls are frying Jennifer, and that's not right. Jennifer's getting, the, getting it from every angle from us. And then in the meanwhile, Teresa never said, all right, guys, I, I asked her to call. So I think Jennifer was just like, uh, enough already. Jennifer did this to herself. She set her herself up for failure, basically. Because when you decide that you are not going to try to build a real friendship with anyone else except for one person that is dictating how you need to act. I don't understand this being mad that people ask question. That's what she likes. If you want to be friends with her, these are her terms. That's not a friendship. That's a dictatorship. And then what happens when you piss that person off? Then you have no one. It's not a level of intimacy of a friendship that I'm used to. Margaret, just like, if this is what this girl needs for you to be her friend, if you care enough to be this person's friend, people, it's called compromising, right? We compromise in relationships. Now, this is the happiest I've ever been. Now, Margaret met me when I lost my mother. I'm here, I'm the happiest I've been since Margaret has met me. So why, if she was my friend- Why try I, to ruin and, it? And I thought she was why? my friend. Why are you trying to hurt me? So then that's when I realized she's not my real friend. Like, Margaret, why do you care so much? Why are you so invested in Teresa's? She shouldn't. Okay. She shouldn't. Jen, can I she just say She should say her piece and be done with it. Yeah. Jen, let me say something. Like, that's yeah. the thing. I never throw the first punch, but I'll always finish it. And Margaret, she threw the first punch. I think Louie has to address the video. That was a big mistake because now I see 
what everybody was saying about her. And I feel like a fool. You know, here I'm like trying to give Margaret the benefit of the doubt. And then like what really opened my eyes what she did with Jen. You always say Bill's the best. Listen, he had to fair. Everybody knows. And that's why he left his old job. And then she comes at me. No, no. Big, big, big mistake. So to me, I'm done with her. How did it feel to finally talk to Margaret one-on-one -on -one about what she said about Bill's affair? You kicked me in the gut, Marge. I did not want to kick you, you in did. the gut. You know, that's how I felt. It was very therapeutic to have that conversation with her. And I just thought that if I can get to her one-on-one, -on -one, then she can really see the pain that I was going through. I need all the friends and I can get. You got a dime worth of in a thousand For real. Percent. No, for real. For real. No, I know. I didn't want to see her like that. I was like, I like the bitch of Jennifer, you know? Yeah, me too. And to see her so broken and upset, and she was so vulnerable. I think, you know, she just wanted to be bonded with me. And I was bonded with her at that moment, because I was like, I don't want to see you this way. I don't want to see any woman that way. And I was like, you know what? I want her marriage short. You know, I love Bill. He's still a great father. He's still a great person. He's human, and he f***ed up. Obviously, I love Bill more than I love Jennifer. Uh, so. Margaret is a very smart person. She's not someone perhaps as emotional as others. And so when her intent and, and revealing this was in a way that hurt us, I'm not sure she gets it past that easily, so to speak. She, she looked at me and she's like, I thought you'd have a huff and be done with it. I thought that you were going to be like, blow this off. I thought you were going to be like, just the way you said to your mother, who cares what our culture thinks. I got a whole f***ing life over here going on. It's going to be a little bit more than a huff. Who would say something like that? I think with Margaret, I don't know if she, her mother used to say it or at least portray the idea that sex is used as a form of power. And sometimes you just do it to like keep it moving. I think that's what the difference is. And maybe she was thinking like, okay, big deal. Like you're gonna have your huff about it and then be done with it. It's a big deal to me. It's a big fucking deal to me. It's a fucking big deal to let a f something that was, that nobody knew about it 10 years ago, that's gonna hurt that, her family. That's a big deal. It's not like the secret was revealed. I was shocked she was in such a bad place. I saw, I had no idea that it was gonna crush her. Uh, listen, I I don't dislike Jennifer. I really, really don't. I think she's a little stunted. I think she's a little immature the way she thinks. You know, that was, that was a reaction of, of a young girl. And I felt bad. I felt horrible. Listen, if she came to me and she was like, oh, I heard a rumor that Bill was having sex with one of his patients, I would have been like, you know what, bitch? Unless you got some receipts, don't come at me. Because that is just a rumor. And you know, you guys only see a small clip. You always say Bill's the best. Listen, he had to fair. You're jealous. Everybody knows. And that's why he left his old job. But she was referencing details that if she didn't know what the affair was about, she wouldn't have known that information, which is why I owned up to it at the time. Cause I thought it's going to look worse if she pulls out some paperwork that proves I'm lying. And I didn't want to be caught a liar. Jennifer, when you're out to lunch with Margaret, she has some questions for you about Louis. Yeah, she was she was implying she was implying that Louis may have some kind of abusive tendencies. What about I allegations like... of uh, abuse? Oh, so you think there's allegations of No, I don't think there's allegations. There there's... are allegations. I keep telling Margaret, listen, it is irritating Teresa that you keep bringing up these rumors. If Teresa is your friend and you care enough to be friends with her, why can't you just tell her, you know what, friend? You don't want me to talk about your man shit anymore? I won't. That's it. Done. Margaret was trying to use the example of when Louis turned around and looked at Teresa and said, Teresa, I'm going to leave. Teresa, I'm going to leave. I'm really going to leave. Because she won't learn if I don't leave, right? Don't leave. Two ears, one mouth. I know. Listen more. She was kind of like, didn't you think that was aggressive? And I'm like, I didn't think that was aggressive at all. I think that is somebody who is adamant and serious about wanting to get their point across. And he just wants to let his significant other know that he's serious. I've been dating Louie now a year and a half. He's never even once raised his voice at me. So Margaret should um, take lessons from Louie because the way she speaks to her husband, 
is degrading. It's degrading, shameful. Did you ever hear it in town from anybody in town at Flyer Anglewood? Tell me right now. Well, we all know that she wears the pants in the family. Yeah, we do. that's embarrassing the way she speaks to her husband. Embarrassing. Like I wouldn't want yes. to. I wouldn't have want to have a relationship like that. I wouldn't want to yell at Louis like that, and I wouldn't want him to yell at me like that. Jackie, you made a comment about Margaret at the treescape. You do not want Margaret to be your enemy. No. See, Teresa's got a loud bark, but Margaret's the one you gotta keep on your good side. What did you mean by that? Margaret knows everything about everyone. And she holds it in her pocket. And she's not gonna take it out of her pocket unless you make her. That's why your husband sleeps in the f***ing pool house. So you don't want to make Margaret your enemy because she has ammunition on everybody. Like, I call her dynasty. Like, she's gossipy. Like, she's the one who's, like, waking up in the morning. She doesn't have little kids, so she has the time. Like, she'll wake up in the morning. She pours her cup of coffee. She gets on and starts talking to all her little girlfriends. Margaret knows everyone and every. Thing. Margaret won't try to ruin your life, but if you come for her, she has got plenty on you. So you don't want to push her. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Teresa, you come into the treescape very... Very hot. I come in very hot. Hot, hot, hot. I'm not a woods person. I'm really not. Well, put on bug spray. <laughs> I'm sure your lip gloss is going to attract the bugs. Well, you got something to say about my lip gloss? And you don't want to participate nah. with Tracy. You don't want to participate with Margaret. You actually say you're going to guide them both off the ledge. Tracy, you're no, going to be partners with me. I'll guide you off well, the ledge, yeah. Can you go up there so I can tell you what to do? Right. Yeah, I would do oh. that. <laughs> she, yeah, she is. She had a bug up her ass about me. It, you know, it is what it is. It's misplaced hostility. Like, I think her golf cart pulled up halfway up the hill and I felt her coming. She sucked the fun out of the place. And she wouldn't stop. Rival to try climbing a tree. That's so safe. This is the dumbest thing ever. It's not safe to be blindfolded. I was not in a good mood that day. Because of both of them. Because of Margaret hearing her talking sh Well, Margaret was asking me, like, as your friend, yeah. why wouldn't I tell you if I had any red flags? I swear to God, she better stop with her questions because she's going to really piss me off. And because of, you know, at, that was right after guys' night. I just got one question about the physical violence where they're hearing. What do we, what do we, what do we make up? I had to let them know how I was feeling. And I, got, I guess they got the and picture. And you did, honey. Yes, oh, I did. you did. We all knew. Teresa, you gotta guide me. She's your friend, so you guide her. I don't wanna guide her. At one point, I remember you charging towards Margaret. I did, because I think she said something to me. You look like I, okay. I do? Yeah. You came down, you're like, what'd you say? What'd you say about me? How do I look like you looked like shit all last year. Oh, really? Oh, my God. oh why? Uh, Wait a minute. What the hell's happening? I was like, oh, it's shit's going down. I was not in a good mood that day. I just said to her, she's full of shit. Yeah. That her husband, the plumber, should unclog her because she's so full of shit. Yeah, yeah. She said that too. And then like the, the calendar, you're like the poop calendar, you know what time it is. Because I gave her a calendar because uh, she likes to, a calendar full of shit. It was like literally a poop emoji on the cover. I got a duty calendar, because I'm so full of shit. She said not to bring up from the past. Here's a calendar for the future. Here's a calendar for a duty calendar, because I'm a starter. I wanted her to look on the calendar and see what year it was and stop bringing up stuff from like the past. Fucking 10 years ago. Like, I wanted her to know it's 2021. I'm gonna talk about Stay in 2021. Yeah, and, and it was a, it was a poop calendar with shit on it, like each month different kinds of shit. <laughs> so you know, so she could you know, st stop with their because she's full of shit. Yes, I actually love the duty calendar. That was adorable. <laughs>